Hi, it's Josie, and today I want to show you the basic rain aids and what they should mean to the horse. And I'm choosing a green horse to do it on, so it won't look very pretty. Well, it, it could look pretty ugly, but um, I wanted to show you how I do it with a green horse. Now, this lovely mare has been started by me under saddle, and I've riding her for a little bit now and I don't usually wear a vest on her but yesterday she made the decision that some young horses do make that she did not want to go forward so um, I had to step up to the plate and explain to her that when I asked her to go forward she needed to go forward a horse that won't go forward is very dangerous because they'll usually back up rear butt and kick and that's what she was trying to do yesterday she planted her feet and she went backwards and when I used my legs she kicked out against them she she did a little pop rear she didn't actually rear um, so I went and put my vest on yesterday got my whip and lucky for me I only had to tap her like that good girl to um, get her to go forward but you have to be willing to do whatever it takes to make that horse go forward. And it is not uncommon in young horses to get to a point and they go, no, nah, I don't want to do this anymore. So that's why I've got a vest on today while I'm doing this. But I was just out here and I was talking through with my basic horse training academy people what uh, the reins are for. And I thought that I would try and explain that to you as well today. So I'm going to talk through it first and then I'm going to go off in trot and show you. And the reason I do it in trot on a young horse is you need the forward momentum to help them. I don't do too much with them at the walk. I might bend like this, okay? So, so in the very beginning, the horse should just follow the inside rein. Once, when you, that's the, the very basic rein it should follow. So we'll go up a little, oh, actually no, we won't, we'll do it in, in walk. So when I should just be able to do one rein, I haven't even holding the outside rein, and the horse should know to follow the inside rein. That's the first one, that's the first bit. And once they've got that, so she's following, um, I'm using my inside leg occasionally if I need to, to move, if I feel her leaning on it and now I'll swap reins and she should follow the, the right um, the left rein part of me without any other so you don't want to confuse them in the beginning they can only uh, learn one thing at a time do not try and teach them too many things so this man knew how to move off my leg like a uh, by turning the hind quarters and she also knew how to move the four quarters. So I'll just show you that, good girl. So she would know how to move like that, just the horns, or if I needed the shoulders moved, whoops, sorry, she knew how to move the shoulders. So that was all taught in the groundwork. And then when I got on and rode her, she had to learn to follow the inside rein. Now she's a little further along, I'm trying to teach her a little bit of sophistication. So what I teach first is, as uh, if you've watched any of my other stuff, when you're riding a young horse, we'll go this way. I'm gonna get her forward a little bit in trot because that will make it much easier. So you just have, like here, I've got like a, a the lightest feel on the reins. I'm just feeling her mouth, that's it. And I follow her wherever she goes. She's already been through this bit of training and that's so that they accept the connection. So she's just going now, wherever she, well, I mean, I'm keeping her on the track, but I'm not holding her head in that position. I'm not, I'm touching her mouth and I'm holding my own hands and I follow her. Then she needs to learn what the outside rein is used for. So I can do this, I'm just touching her mouth here guys and I'm just doing what I told you, she's just following the inside rein. So this is what the next step looks like. So I can have a feel of it, a gentle feel and she can follow it. Let's come this way, good girl. So she's following the inside rein. Then when we wanna get a bit more sophisticated and I can ha hold very gently both reins. I close my ring finger on the outside rein. I'll do it at C, and it's just closing my ring finger. Watch, closed. I got nothing closed there. 
close there good girl close there and can you see her nose do that I'll do that again she has to be forward for this I'm going to close the outside rein ready close yes ready close yes so she either looks to the left slightly or nods her nose and I release and it's just touching my ring finger just closing it like I'm squeezing it gently on a sponge and the next step is when you want to start to um, get the horse to turn a neater circle is I indicate on the inside rein with squeezing that ring finger good girl and the outside ring finger says but stay around I had to put a bit of leg on there because she started to think yeah good girl stop good that's how you get your horse to follow the bit and when she's down there I'm not doing anything my hands are just still and I'm feeling her hind legs stepping into my hands I can feel them good girl indicate inside rein yes <laughs> yeah and I only use the rein if I need to I do indicate regularly on a young horse like now now outside rein now is the inside outside rein now is the inside outside rein good girl yes good girl I'll change the rein for you so the right rein is now going to become the outside rein and the left rein is going to be the inside rein good girl so she's got to follow the inside good girl now and touch the outside whoops sorry that was my fault no she's decided that she's going to do what she did yesterday which was say I'm not going forward so I'm just going to send her forward now good and when I do that on a young horse I make sure I don't interfere with their mouth if she has to go forward she can go forward with her head in the air I don't care so indicate inside outside indicate inside I don't have to touch the outside rein here she's she's actually holding my hand indicate to the inside good girl very good girl indicate in inwards because we're turning but I also use my leg no she's falling out so what I did there was I took a little more outside rein and straightened her neck and use my outside leg and knee here to bring her shoulders around good good girl good girl so she's beautifully in my hands here at the moment there she is in both hands even and going really nicely forward so your outside rein ask the horse to basically give in the pole in a nodding manner and then go and then you let them go forward and down or you ask them to give in the pole if they're a bit further along and stay in that little shorter frame but I like her to stretch good good girl good girl so outside rain picks the height of the neck okay outside rain yes see touch it when she gives I give it goes back inside rain flexion and direction only flexion from up here in the pole and direction to say come around here and I squeeze like that like I squeeze and when it's soft I give if I squeeze and it's really hard you just sit there and do a little e -e 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 until the horse softens and then give to her or him let them know you want them soft same with the outside close the rein and it's only uh, that much and my legs are ready to back it up okay so I sort of pick my momentum up close the rein if the horse goes to slow you tell them to go forward but if they don't and they just soften these are really subtle aids guys they just soften then you soften your hand and you can put your hand forward half a centimetre and they might stretch into it doesn't happen straight away but yeah anyway I hope you like that one thanks for watching